In this video, we're going to have a look at how to name the alkynes. And the alkynes are a class of compounds that contain the alkynyl functional group. And what is that? Well, that is a carbon to carbon triple bond somewhere in my molecule. So the key thing to know about when naming alkynes is that the suffix or the end of the name is going to be yne or y-n-e. For reference, let's also include our little table of stem names here, which relates to the number of carbons in the main chain and then the kind of central part of the name of that compound. So let's have a look at some examples. Here's the first one. I can see my alkynyl functional group between those two carbons. Um, so what do we need to do first? We need to count the number of carbons in my main chain. I've got one, two, and two carbons relates to the stem name of ETH. So I can write down ETH, and because it's an alkyne, I know it's going to end with yne, Y-N-E, so that molecule is ethyne. Second example, slightly longer one. Uh, again, what are we going to do first? Well, we're going to spot the functional group. There's my triple bond at the beginning of the molecule. And let's then count the number of carbons in my main chain. I've got one, two, three, four. Four carbons relates to the stem name but. So let's write down but. However, in this case, that triple bond, which we can currently see between the first and second carbons, could also be placed between the second and third carbon. So we need to give a little bit more detail in my name here to make sure it's exactly clear where that triple bond is. In this case, if I label my carbons from left to right, one, two, three, four, it starts on the first carbon. So I'm going to call this but one, fine. And you'll notice between my number and the letters or the word parts, I put a little dash to keep things clear. Third example, uh, well, it looks similar again. I've got a triple bond in there. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four carbons. So we know the stem name again is going to be but. So I can write down my but. And the triple bond is in a different place this time. So let's just for clarity, label my carbons one, two, three, four. Where does that triple bond begin? It begins on the second carbon, so this is going to be but 2 fine. Fourth example, okay, slightly more complicated looking one here. Uh, first of all, there was a triple bond in there. It's definitely going to be an alkyne. Let's uh, find my longest carbon chain. I've got one, two, three, four, five is my longest chain. So that's going to relate to uh, the stem name of pent. So let's write pent in here. Now, where is my triple bond? The mistake would be to say or to number my carbons this way around, in which case it would be on beginning on the fourth carbon. However, whenever we find a functional group in a molecule, we always want to number our carbons so that that functional group is as close to the beginning as possible. So in this case, I'm going to label from right to left, which indicates now that my triple bond begins on the first carbon. So I'm going to have pent one and then what's the other slightly complicating factor here? Well, I've got a methyl group sticking off the side of my chain as well. So I need to include that information in my name. And specifically, which carbon is that methyl group sticking off? It's coming off the third carbon. So I'm going to indicate the third carbon is where it is. It's a methyl group because it contains just one carbon. So that name is actually going to be 3 methyl pent one ine Final one. A bit trickier yet again. Uh, what makes this tricky? Well, I've actually got two of my functional group in there. I've got two triple bonds. Let's go through the same process. Uh, first of all, I've got one, two, three, four carbons. Four relates to the stem name of but, so we can write that down. In this case, I've got two triple bonds. So if I number my carbons, and actually it doesn't matter which way around I number them, because my molecule is symmetrical, I can see a triple bond starting on the first carbon and then also on the third carbon. So this is going to be but 1, 3. And because there are two of that functional group, before putting ine, I need to write di. So the full name but 1, 3, di ine, which gives me all the information I could possibly need to be able to draw that molecule from the name. And remember, in this case, if you've got two of the functional group, little die in there. If there were three triple bonds, it would be tri and so on. And that's pretty much it for alkynes. Hopefully this video was of some help.